Good evening. Thanks for choosing CARIX 5 News. I'm Adrian Thomas. We begin tonight with an update on a story concerning the water quality in the town of Debec. Within the last two weeks, residents were notified drinking water levels had reached an unsafe level of total trihalomethane or TTHM. TTHM is a disinfection byproduct that results when water you use is treated for harmful bacteria. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency says the running annual average of TTHM in any water supply must not exceed 80 parts per billion, but in Debec, it was recently found the running annual average had shot up to 83 parts per billion after high quarterly samples in May and August. Now when the running annual average exceeds 80 parts per billion, state and federal law require residents to be notified. I spoke to a water, a water utility expert to find out more. Debec town officials recently gave us a report from early September showing TTHM levels sitting at about 40 parts per billion. But the notice Debec town officials recently released to residents saying TTHM levels got above 80 parts per billion for a running annual average caused some residents to be concerned. We are not using the water. We are hauling our water. We are buying bottled water. We are boiling the water. But Debec's town administrator tells us the levels have been brought back down due to better control of the temperature inside the town's water plant with the air conditioning units. The town reported the TTHM levels were high in May after an increase in temperature inside the plant. After a public records request, we found out the town's TTHM levels for May and August were both above 100, but these records also indicated the town has not ever gone above a running annual average regulation for TTHM in the last five years. Down I-70 from Debec at Ute Water, a major Grand Valley water utility, the plant operator tells us how and why TTHM is formed. They're formed anytime you add chlorinated water to uh, surface waters, um, you know, creeks, reservoirs, um, you know, the raw water sources that, that most public water systems uh, regionally uh, draw from. The plant operator for Ute Water tells me it's a delicate balancing act to keep the water you drink and use free of harmful bacteria and viruses, but also making sure those levels of disinfection byproducts don't get too high. He says those levels can exceed regulation for a variety of reasons. The organic content in the raw water, the amount of chlorine that you add to the water, uh, temperature can play a big factor. And the temperature issue is exactly what happened in Debec. The town's water is sampled on a quarterly basis and town officials expect the running annual average of TTHM will be back below the 80 parts per billion threshold outlined by the EPA when the water is sampled again in November. Ben Hoffman at U Water says warmer months typically lead to higher TTHM levels in most places. If you look at almost any public water system uh, who tests quarterly, you're going to find third quarter samples, um, which are generally, you know, the hottest water temperature um, in your system. Hoffman also told me spikes in TTHM can be prevented by limiting water age in tanks at water plants, as well as flushing areas out where water has sat for a long time in tanks. He adds reducing organic material from untreated water also can help with TTHM spikes. We'll have a story Wednesday where we'll hear from a state water quality control official on how the state handles these kinds of situations.